Hey everyone, so today I had the assignment to compare how a community affects an individual. And so today I thought I'd be doing that by showcasing two scenarios in these little skits and then explaining them afterwards. So enjoy these little skits. Are you Alexis from Target? Yeah. Can I take a picture of you? I don't know. Can you? I heard that was a girl that, that committed adultery. Shh, she might, she might hear us. So what? No one's gonna ever love her again. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, I hope you enjoyed those. I know they were pretty exciting. Anyways, so I thought I'd go over the first one with Alex from Target, or Alexis from Target, and I want to showcase how a community can affect an individual in a positive way, and how Alex from Target was at first no one, and he was just a grocery guy from Target, and then someone took a picture of him, and the internet went crazy, and basically made him famous for doing nothing. And that's a crazy way how a community can affect an individual because he went from nothing to everything 100% because of the people around him. And in the essay I read called Facebook Friendonomics by Scott Brown, uh, he talks about how Friendonomics is basically how you can have a never-ending amount of friends and how on Facebook you can add as many friends as you want and it's really easy to do but then it gets kind of hard to delete them. And he talks about how you have this one friend that you never talk to, and then a friend that you always talk to, but online they're, they're on the same level. They're on the same playing field. In Alex from Target's case, that's actually a good thing, because if you go on his Twitter, he went from having about 150 to 784,000 Twitter followers, including Miranda Sings and Ellen DeGeneres. So now he can pretty much use those for whatever he wants. So that's another way how the community impacted him positively. And going along with the essay, it's kind of like the opposite way of how friendonomics works and how he can he can keep having more and more and he can use those friends to his advantage, connections, and even more friends, even greater fame, if that's what he chooses to do. Now in Hester's case, it's the opposite. And comparing the two communities that Alex and Hester live in, Alex being from today and Hester from a Puritan society in like the 1800s. She is in a very closed off community as opposed to Alex being in a wide open, as I said, friendonomics, never ending, seems like friend list. And so Hester has to deal with this hard life of if she messes up once, then she can never go back. And in this community, she does mess up, and so now everyone thinks of her in a negative connotation. All they see is the A on her chest as opposed to her being a person. Um, as you saw in the skit, we pretty much made fun of her and like didn't even go near her and as opposed to Alex or Alexis I just ran up to her and like got crazy and so comparing Hester's situation to the essay Walking the Path Between Worlds by LaRue Arvizo Alvar you could compare Hester's community to the community of the new school campus as the main character goes in the essay and how on the campus there are the, the social classes the haves and the have-nots and he falls under the have-nots because of his Indian heritage and Hester, on the other hand, falls into the have-nots because of her sin or because of the A, and everyone on the campus only sees him for his Indian side, and everyone in the community of Hester only sees Hester because of her A. And so both communities are very negative because they, they isolate the person, and the person, they, they can't do anything, and that's all because of the community's perspective on them. So comparing them both again, Alex become very positive because the community loved him and the community has the power to do that. Or on the other hand, Hester where the community saw her as a negative and what she did is bad so they, they just isolated her and that is the power the community has on an individual. Hey, Stanley, yeah, wait, wait. 